For decades, healthcare professionals have prescribed low-fat diets to lose weight and maintain a healthy lifestyle. But more recently, we're understanding that not only can lowering fat intake be harmful, but raising fat and lowering carb intake can be a more efficient method of weight loss. The combination of providing the body with healthy fats that are essential to longevity and promoting the breakdown of fatty acids for energy for the entire body make low-carb, ketogenic diets perhaps the quickest, healthiest, and most sustainable method for weight loss and improved body composition. There are a variety of processes that account for the remarkable results in weight loss, but we'll start with the basic principles of ketosis and how our metabolism can transform from depending on carbohydrates to efficiently burning fats. The basis of a ketogenic diet is that we can reduce dietary carbohydrate intake to a point where our metabolism is prompted into a state of ketosis, in which fatty acids are broken down in the liver to provide the body with substrates for energy production called ketone bodies. One of the main benefits of this conversion of metabolism is that we begin to draw energy from body fat reserves such as adipose tissue, resulting in substantial weight loss. On the contrary, when high or even moderate amounts of carbohydrates are present in our diet, they are pushed to the front of the line to be metabolized, which leaves nutritional fat to be stored rather than burned. Amazingly, on a ketogenic diet, we can lower overall body fat even through passive calories burned. Therefore, autonomic processes like brain function, breathing, and sleeping result in weight loss. Another reason individuals find it so much easier to lose weight on a ketogenic diet rather than other diet regimens is the production of ketones regulates hormones that play a large role in suppressing appetite back to its optimal levels. Research is now identifying that fat is one of the largest and most active endocrine organs in our bodies, meaning that fat has the ability to secrete hormones directly into our bloodstream. In overweight individuals, these hormones called adipokines are completely out of balance. Leptin is a key hormone that fat cells produce, which sends signals to the brain during nutritional intake that enough fat has been stored and nutritional consumption can stop. With the hormone imbalance caused by being overweight, the brain, more specifically the hypothalamus, develops a resistance to leptin, which results in no recognition of being full. Therefore, in a diet reliant on carbohydrates for fuel, the problem of overeating and food cravings makes it extremely difficult to lose weight, and in a ketogenic diet, this problem is eliminated. It seems a bit counterintuitive that eating fat would promote losing fat, but health experts are now understanding just that to be the case. Another reason weight loss is amplified in a ketogenic diet versus a normal Western diet is the inhibitory weight loss effects of the production of insulin prompted by nutritional intake of carbohydrates. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas, most predominantly as a result of carbohydrate intake, to aid in the transport of glucose into cells throughout the body. When insulin is produced, it prohibits the metabolism from burning fat. Jeff Volick says it perfect in his book, The Art and Science of Low Carb Performance where he says insulin is the primary gatekeeper of body fat. If your insulin levels are consistently high, fat usage is effectively blocked. In addition, glucose and insulin being present in the blood at moderate levels hinders the production of testosterone. Therefore, when carbohydrates are being consumed, levels of this anabolic hormone that play a key factor in positive body composition changes are significantly lowered. To tie it all together, a low-carb, ketogenic diet promotes burning body fat for fuel, resulting in considerable healthy weight loss, regulates hunger cravings and nutritional intake demands back to optimal levels, and aids in the balancing of hormone levels to more efficiently improve body composition. In Dr. David Perlmutter's book, Grain Brain, he concludes that a low-carb, high-fat diet will outperform a low-fat, high-carb diet any day and by virtually every measure in the body, from its internal chemistry to its external waistline. Once again, these weight loss benefits are only a small fraction of the overall benefits of ketone production and ketogenic diets. And for more information, check out other videos in this series like Keto Brain Hack and the Ketone Effects on Alzheimer's. Also, new videos are in the works on subjects like ketone effects on athletic performance and maybe another discussing the history of low-carb diets and how it could be considered one of the most natural diets to humans. 
I'd also love to hear from the viewers about topics you might want covered. But until next time, keep going against the grain.